Okay. We can keep track of the different heights on a spreadsheet. We could do that. I have a spreadsheet in my head, dude. I remembered the number eight. Are you impressed, DX? You can tell that I went to uni for like seven years, right? You started a new challenge on this seed? Nice. All right, guys. Here we go. Dopamine simulator continues. Yellow production to the moon. Prepare your low hots in the chat. Your pork champs, the whole the rest of it. There it is. I've produced my first structure matrix at 14 hours and 42 minutes. Honestly, I'm pretty sure that's world record pace. I'm fairly certain that's world record pace, dude. We might accidentally get the world record speed run. Only 14 hours for the third one. That's a fucking... That's amazing, dude. That's really good. That's late? What? No, 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 no. That's really fast, dude. No, I can't stack Hara yet. <sighs> okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What? No! Tell me I, I miscounted. How does counting work again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. We gotta make a relatively long conveyor belt. For the yellow. Oh shit, I also actually do need to store it somewhere. Uh, that'll be a problem for later. Uh, where do we have to take it though? Okay. Dude, this is gonna be one hell of a conveyor belt. Uh, I really need to... We need to get some more... Ha! Ah. ah. Where is it? Ah, right there. Right, no. Fuck! Uh, it's because I ran out of fire eyes. I've been going with tier 3. Yeah, I don't have enough fire eyes. Okay, we'll have to go with tier 2 ones for now, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's gonna be a long ass conveyor belt. I have to go all the way to where my matrix towers are at. And I kinda put that in roughly the middle of where blue and red were at. But obviously I made those quite some time ago. We've since taken control of a, a big portion of this planet. And now in order to get the combined researches... <clears throat> I need to bring them all over there. 
Either that or I could use one of those drones. That might actually be a more convenient way of doing things. But I wanted to set up the interceptors after this. So I can go straight into interplanetary stuff. The cubes have to be on a belt? Oh, they have to be on a belt because they look cool. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. RGB looks cool, right? No, belts don't use electricity. Thank God. Do I wait until I have more electricity or do we just sort of run it? Kind of tempted to just plant down the entire conveyor belt. And then come back in a minute while I get my drones to build everything. LGBT lights are cool. I don't think that's what you meant, Shardarki, but... <laughs> I do agree. <laughs> Abbreviations in 2022 are confusing, right? LGBT and RGB, I mean, things get hard. Okay, keep going. Is that the tower over there? I think it is. There's the tower, baby. <whistles> Don't cancel Loco. What do I get cancelled for this time, guys? You know what you did, Loco? Uh, New subscriber detected. Yo, short darky. Thank you, dude. No! Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. <gasps> okay, I thought I ruined it. <laughs> Panic! Panic! Ha! Panic! It has to be perfect. It really does. We can use these colorful lines as a way to navigate though. So like blue leads to the early game stuff. Red means, you know, it's where most of my production facility things are. And yellow is kind of just on its own. Oh my god, look at that! <laughs> we can see the entire outline. Of every single one of those things I'm trying to build. The only problem is my dude is without electricity. So this might be an issue. I guess the best way for me to charge is just to stand right next to those things, right? Yeah. Oh my god, that powers you up real quick.
We're using a supercharger. Dat is wel een beetje gezellig. Dat is wel een gezegd. De chef has arrived. <laughs> That's just mean, buddy Warren. Toby is here. Milo is here. Hey, Milo. This is our eldest son. He's almost two. He thinks he owns the place. Toby is over there too, somewhere in the distance. <coughs> Milo likes to be held sometimes. He, <laughs> he looks just like you. Is it the mustache? His mustache is... I understand that that reminds you of of me. His mustache is like twice the width of, of his head. Does he respect his elders? No, Milo has very little respect for his elders. He seems to make a lot of assumptions. He doesn't pay rent, he demands to be fed, and he does nothing. Alright guys, here we go. RGB line! There it goes, baby. Loco is false. He drives engagement. That's true, actually. Are you saying you're subscribed to my stream because of Milo? Okay, I need to charge up. At least 50% of my viewers are because of Milo. Look who he's cute. What more do you want of him? That's a good point. Actually, one thing I need to do that I forgot doing. Put a little chest to pick up the axis. What? No, that's the wrong way. All right, guys, we need to uh, we need to decide what we want to research first. I think I'll go with the important stuff first, okay? Not the exciting stuff, but the important stuff. This is what we need first. Uh, in order to get that, I need to get energy storage. Okay. Wait, no. Do I need to get that first? No, actually. No, it doesn't matter. Um, I need this thing first. High strength titanium alloy. Under different temperatures, utilizing the characteristics of the titanium lattice structure and adding precise... Blah, blah, blah. Yes, research that. Oh, this thing also requires reinforced thruster. Reinforced thruster? Where do I get that? No, no, we buck. We buck. I can get a load of different things now though, bro, with that with the yellow production. Like this is gonna be a game changer. Thruster, I barely know her. Okay, guys. Hey, there it is! Advanced power devices can drive logistics vessels to transport goods amongst planets. Right. So this is gonna also require those reinforced fucking beams. They're gonna hard. They're gonna be hard to make. 
But anyways. Cue it up. Okay, so that's our main research. This is the main thing we want to try and get done. That's going to be our next big step. Loco never queue. Oh, yes. I definitely queue. Um, Mecha core. A lot of this is going to take a while. So, this is 400 maximum max core energy. Queue it up. Mechanical frame, additional movement speed. Cue it up. Cue this one up too, more movement. Inventory capacity, cue it up. Oh my god, my cue is full. <laughs> dude, this is gonna take a little while. This looks like your Terran macro. Yeah, 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 dude. Oh, you guys have some buffering issues? Uh, I have not had any issues on my end, but... Looking good over here? You are looking good over there, Devin. Alright, we gotta figure out why my yellow production is kinda slow, though. Okay, so this is gonna take a couple hours, guys. Can you make multiple research towers? I can. Honestly, our best bet is to go AFK. Go AFK, come back in like a few hours. It'll be done. Aww. The sun is setting behind the gas giant. Uh, I think I'm going to change the way that this works. Yeah, we need more towers. I think I can probably stack them higher as well. Okay, that will probably already make things a bit better. Horizontal expansions. Could make a third layer as well, but that'll probably be a bottleneck. Okay. Yellow. Yellow. I have solar on the poles. I have uh, a little solar farm right over there and also one all the way at the other end. It's providing most of the power so far. It's actually pretty good. Seems to be plenty for now. Okay, so there's probably going to be another bottleneck here soon enough. But we'll find out. Oh, that also copy pasted perfectly. Very nice.
All right. Don't know if this is the the bottleneck now, but it's gotta produce a good amount of yellow at the very least. Now, if you go around the equator, it's actually also pretty good, though. If you put a whole lot of solar panels around the equator, you can get uh, a ton of electricity. Alternatively, though, putting it on poles is also not bad. Because, like, half of them are always going to be providing additional light. We can always expand on it as well, right? We can easily, like, make another layer. Maybe that's what we should do. Because I'm running a little bit low right here. On my electricity. Yeah, they'll provide at least partial power, exactly. It's not optimized, though. High titanium alloy. Research is done. The first yellow research. Apparently Dyson has developed headphones that purify air. Are they trying to sell a need that I don't have? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, so this is where my main uh, bottleneck, I guess, is going to be as well, right? That's why we really want to set up the interplan or interplanetary logistics thing. Um, I should probably try and build some of this. So first off, I will need a planetary logistics station. Which is one of those. It's going to require a load of resources that I currently do not have. But I believe I can hand produce these. We kind of want to make like 10 of those if we can. That's going to be really quite annoying. Oh, I don't even have the, the resources for those, man. I can't even make those resources. So wait, there's a bunch of other things that I need to... Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm actually going to cancel those upgrades for now then. So in order to make these, I also need to have... Do I need a processor? I do need processors. So that's one thing. Queue it up. I also need those purple thingies. Whatever they are. I don't know what they're called. Ooh. Alright, I can crack hydrogen into more hydrogen with refined oil. Ah, this. Magnetic particle trap. How the fuck do we make those? Ah, fun. <laughs> Great. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, looking forward to that. Um, It's gonna require a lot of writ. Did Age of Empires 4 already die? No. Oh, it's an April Fool's joke. Is that what it is? Is it? I mean, it's the 31st of March. <laughs> it's a bit of a, a strange moment to... Oh, that's what it does. Okay, so it purifies air that you can breathe in. This was announced yesterday. Yeah, that fucking sucks, dude. 
If you live in a place where that is necessary, that sucks. Yeah, we need more graphene production, guys. Gonna have to make a few more trips, I guess. <sighs> we have a lot of research happening right now. Um, I don't want all of it to go to... Conveyor belt production. I need some of it as well for my interplanetary shit. So I guess we dump all of that in there. Except for that. And that. And then we're gonna start picking up... Some more junk. Uh, I have to go to the fourth planet in this system. To go and pick up fire ice. X cracking could really help me. Why though? What do I need it for right now? I don't need more hydrogen. Yeah, I did bring the charging towers. <laughs> Is useful early on for more red science? I think I'm producing quite a bit of red science, am I not? Can I control my mouse in this screen? I don't know what the hotkey is to see the... The research thing in the bottom... Ah, there it is. Um... Okay, let's see. So I am producing... Oh wow, I'm producing 121 structure matrices? I'm consuming about three and a half a minute right now. So I guess we're creating a little bit of a backlog. That's fine. Interestingly enough, I'm running low on blue. That's an easy one to fix though. So this I think is gonna be our main export from the first planet. This is what we're aiming to like. Yeah, use. A thousand meters a second. That's the most I can do right now. Yeah, I don't really need to up it. It's fine. I can get more of those research towers, though. A kilometer a, a second, not bad, not terrible. I think it's, I think it's quite alright. Okay, so we're gonna quickly... Quickly pick up a few things. I have no idea why blue is going down. Wow, that was a good landing. Juice me up! Yeah, I think my belts are also not very efficient yet. Because I haven't upgraded them all to the, the tier 3 belt. Because I made so many belts. Like, I've been liberally playing, uh, placing down belts. The main resource right now that I could run out of is fire ice, but there's still 1.8 million. Nah, I'm not gonna run out of that. Not before I can mine the... I think the gas giant that I'm orbiting around is never gonna run out. So there's a gas giant that I'm close to. That um, 
isn't going to run out. I don't think it ever does. So, fairly certain we can harvest that before I go through one point, f like, something million. No way. To be honest, you're good with tier 2 belt, still the end game. Yeah, maybe I put a bit too much emphasis on trying to get the tier 3 belts going. I just kind of wanted to get it done, so I don't have to think about it anymore. I actually don't know if there's any Fire Eyes on Resha 1 as well. I think there might be. Oh, no, there isn't. It's got 31 million titanium, though. It's not bad. It's Russia, Chet. I don't say Russia, it's Russia. Yeah, I've got tier two um, or tier three sorters for half the playthrough so far. Being a fairy is hard work, dude. Where are we going slower? We're going a thousand meters a second. Oh, I can speed up. I can hit shift. If I hit shift, I can go and speed up a little bit, but it goes through my fuel really quick. Don't miss! Don't miss! Great landing. Guys, if you ever find yourself traveling at a thousand meters a second, I do not recommend you go head first into the nearest obstacle. I mean, I am no scientist. But it's just a suggestion. Is that safe? Nah, there's no penalty. There's no health bar. Maybe they'll change that at some point, though. They'll probably introduce, like, a, an automated landing sequence or something like that. I mean, it seems like that's always... It's already there in some situations. It's a bit hard to say why it doesn't work all of the time, but... Okay. This is what we're here for. So we're going to be able to get some more graphene going. And then we can also simultaneously start putting down another ring. There is a health bar. You just can't take damage. Oh. Well, there you go. Yeah, so I think they are planning on adding combat, right? Which I, I, I don't know. Sounds kind of shitty. Can I fit things over here? Oh, no, I need more. I need more foundation. Oh, shit. I thought I... Oh, that was weird. I don't really like combat in these types of games. But I know some people really like it. I don't know, I found it kind of annoying when playing Factorio. Really? I only had two, two of that in my... Okay, nice. Yeah, you liked it in Factorio? Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of it. Donation confirmed. Yo, what's going on? Dry Slow Fox Eve. What do you do to cozy it up on a weekend late Eve stream? 
What do I do? I don't really stream that late at night. I don't really do anything special, I'm afraid. But thank you for the 100 bits. Um... I just have Brian, yeah, whisper sweet nothings in my ear with text-to-speech messages. <sighs> I think that's beautiful. OMG, 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 my new watch is ready for pickup. Be back later, gotta tell work that I've developed a cough. Oh, dude. New watch? Pog champ? Just tell them the truth, dude. They'll understand. Um... Does that line up perfectly? Okay, I guess we're gonna have to do quarters. Okay. More power! Yo, what's up, special? Big gains today at the gym? Dude, I saw some of your lifts. I think you posted them on Twitter or something? You've been getting strong, man. Dude, you did like a 65 kilo overhead press, or what was it, 67? Good stuff. You've been, uh, you did 70 for one? Dude, that's really sick, actually. Those are big numbers. Special accidental power lifter. What are kilos? Don't worry about it, dude. How many washing machines is that? Probably about three. I don't know how much a washing machine weighs, but... Nah, but it's good to see you sticking with it though, special. Nice stuff. All right, got myself another layer of those things. Are we gonna go up to 100 megawatts? I think we are. Ah, ah, yay, nice. Mega what? <sighs> Can I uh, paint it in? Just because I like the look. Yeah, that accidentally worked out perfectly. I mean, I planned that in advance. I did the math, Barnacle. Yeah, I missed one quarter on the other pole because there were some conveyor belts in the way. But that's okay. Alright, how much graphene do we have? Oh, we got a good amount. I don't think I need any more than that. This was mostly just for the research over here. That one's still 10 minutes away. Um, so for these things, dude, I need some high-end stuff. I wish I could make like a little shopping list or something in the game. Is that possible? So first off, I need one of those. I need titanium ingots. Did I use up all of my titanium ingots already, you think? I should take some before I use all of them. Ah, I've already used all of them. Ah, oh no, I, I actually saved some in my backpack. Good job, Loco, from the past. Actually, no, I need more. <sighs> 
Hey, nice, Dre. Glad you enjoy. Yeah, no, we got an awesome community here. There's a lot of very generous people in the stream. Okay, we're gonna make another trip. This time around. Yeah, all the people here are really cool. Other than the moderators, you know? Those guys are annoying as hell, but, you know. Can't win in every way. Oh, hey, what's up, Modlesis? Oh, hey, Mugetsu. <clears throat> I mean, uh... <laughs> I don't even know what Meerkat said, but he probably deserved it. I agree. See, I told you the mods were toxic. Salutations, fellow carbon-based life form. Hello. Honestly, being carbon-based is kind of pug. Yesterday, I destroyed Loco's pyramid. I saw. Can the mods ban Loco TV? I know I've told this story like 17 times. But once upon a time when I first became partnered on Twitch. Well, actually, no, I don't think it was that long ago. Like a couple years after I got partnered, probably. Anyways. The mods were kind of testing what they could do. And at some point, Motlesis... Or no, it was Nuke Official posted in Twitch chat. You do not have permission to time out the broadcaster. I was like, oh, that's interesting. And then, like, a minute later, it dawned on me that he tried to see if he could ban me from my own channel. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. It does not. It do it's not possible. That's Mutiny Loco? I know. Should have unmodded him right then and there. Apparently, I'm too nice. I shoot off. Drone Rush did an oopsie as well for science. Yeah, Drone Rush unmodded himself. Which is indeed possible. <laughs> In case you wanted to. Yeah, dude, they tried doing a coup and everything. It's crazy stuff. New subscriber detected. Yo, Vel, what's up, dude? Hello, just here for a quick sanity check of all the Germans in the chat. Judging by the placement of these wireless power towers, I assume it's going poorly. So far, I haven't really had any angry Germans in the chat. I don't know, Blue Hair. Blue Hair has not been enjoying this playthrough as much as most other people, but. It's okay. Thank you, Vel. A lot, of, a lot of friendly Germans today. Meerkats, Meerkats, you're literally from Switzerland, dude. Are you cosplaying a German right now? Bist du verrückt? I wonder if I should do a couple of trips like this, man. You think I'm dumb if I were to do a, a couple of trips like that? Hmm. Yeah, it's an interesting stereotype that like German apparently is an angry language. I'm fairly certain the main reason why people think that is because they've never heard Dutch before. Das stimmt nicht. Disaster Jasper, I actually have a new PVC video going up tonight. In about an hour and a half. <laughs> Alright, Meerkats. 
All right, the research continues. That's good. That's real good. So I have those. I need some processors, which I can't make yet. But I need some graphene, which I already put in my backpack. What do I need for those um, those little drone things? Because I also need one of those. Okay. Uh, for these, I do need more processors. Ay, ay, ay. For some reason, people mistake Sweden for Switzerland. Really? I thought that was mostly an internet meme. It's real? I guess people say people in Sweden are Swiss. I can't imagine that. People confuse the Danes and the Dutch. I never really hear too much from Denmark, if I'm being honest. Like, I never really hear too many people saying, hey, I'm from Denmark. I Austria and Australia. Yeah, Austria is the one where the kangaroos are, and Australia is the one with the mountains. And the later Hosen, I think. Hey, thank you, Ethermoose. Thank you for the 11. You're from Denmark? Nice. I think. I mean, I've read a little bit about Denmark. Every single time they try to quantify happiness, Denmark apparently is the highest scoring country in the world. And apparently there's one thing that Danish people do more so than any other, you know, similar country. And apparently they burn a fuck ton of candles. Apparently they burn more candles per capita than like any other country. So therefore candles equal happiness. There you go. Although quantifying happiness is probably not the easiest task. <laughs> you burn money, it makes you happy? All right. My friend moved to Denmark, can't say he's happy. All right, guys. We've got most of our production under control. I think it's time to save. Guys. Are you seeing that? That beautiful yellow cube that's flying across the sky? Ay, yeah, yeah. We spent a bunch of time yesterday's automating all of that. Yesterday's? Anyways, doesn't matter. Um... Got quite a bit of already chilling right over here. We're currently doing a research as well for the Interstellar Planetary Logistics System. Which is about as complex as it sounds. Fairly certain it's similar in real life. Anyways, let me show you how it's done in like one stream, okay? Um... Currently, here's the situation. Currently, the reason why my yellow production is not super fast and not very smooth is because I need to import titanium ingots from another planet. Now, the way in which I'm importing those is by flying there, filling up my inventory, and then bringing it back here, which is incredibly inefficient and kind of annoying. So basically, I just flew over, I think, I don't know, a little bit ago in the game. And I, yeah, filled up this chest over here with a bunch of titanium ingots. But once this run out, it doesn't work, right? It no longer functions. Now, what I can set up once I have this research done is an interstellar logistics station. And this thing allows me to basically have a little, a little airplane rocket thing going back and forth and automating, yeah, the delivery of that resource. So ultimately today the goal is to try and change this chest to one of those things that I can actually utilize. So that's the goal. I might wanna... Oh well, I got the research done at the very least. You have unlocked a magnificent space elevator. Right. So that thing is very annoying though, very tricky. Ultimately we want to automate the production of even these towers, but... Anyhow, so in order to get that, 
We need to have... We need to make a bunch of these things. I also need to make a bunch of these things. And in order to make these things, I need some very high-end items that are going to be a pain in the dick to produce. I have nothing, Andrew. Um, so a few things that we need are we need to make a few of these towers. I think we probably want to start with like four of them. Yeah, and then we'll go from there. I don't know if I need any regular logistics drones or if I don't. I'm not sure. Anyway, so we're getting the processor over here. That's one of the items that we need. So we'll get started with that, I suppose. Uh, I do still have some of those things in my backpack. So just make a bunch of these things. Um, for every processor, I need two. How many processors do I need here in total? Probably quite a few. Yeah, so I need 80 of those things for that. Hmm. I need about 100 at least for every one. <laughs> yeah, today is going to be a little bit annoying. At some point we can automate all of that, but I think today is going to be one of those manual labor type of days where we spend a whole lot of time trying to automate this, but... Mm-hmm. I guess once we can deliver all of it over here, though, life's gonna be a little bit easier. I'm from the Netherlands. Benik? Or Benik? I'm eating some rice crackers, yeah, I am. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 